So in this video, we will go and take a look at how we can go and display the amount we have of Solana in our wallet with C Sharp into our console application. And we will also go and take a look at how we can display some other coins. And I created my own coin for Zitbit that you can actually go and buy yourself inside of Radium. It is a relatively new coin that I have created. I will go and put a link in the description so you can read about it if you're interested in buying this. But it's not what the video is about. We will go and open a new console app. So let's go and open Visual Studio 2022. And let's go and create a new project. And it will be a console app so go and click that one and it really doesn't matter what we call it just go and say next and we will go and use .NET 8 the long-term supported version let's just go and say create so now when we have a console app we will go and install some NuGet packages let's go and right click the project here say manage NuGet packages and go to browse and then we actually want to go and take this Solnet which is the API we're going to use to connect to our Solana wallet. So we are going to install this Solnet wallet and also the Solnet RPC. So first of all, let's go and take the wallet here and say install and then take the RPC and say install. So once the NuGet package is installed, we can just go back to our program.cs file. And then you want to go and replace the hello world with the using of the Solnet, both the RPC, the wallet, and also the Inside the RPC, we have the builders. The first line of code here is going to be the actual wallet that we want to connect to. So we do have a variable called wallet, and we just want to instantiate a new wallet object from the Solnet wallet. And inside the wallet, we do also have a method called wallet. And as you can see, it cannot really figure out what is wrong here because we have the wallet name as both the namespace, but also as a method inside the namespace. So the, the thing we can do is to go and take the Solnet and put it in front of the wallet here. Then it very specific know what wallet we're talking about. So the thing we want in here is actually our seed phrase. And I will not show my seed phrase here. So when we have set up all the code, I will just go and set in my seed phrase and then go and start the application that you cannot see it. And of course, you should not go and share your seed phrase with anyone. But I will show you an example on how you can find it and also how it should look. So the next thing we do is to go and extract the public key from our wallet. So we take our wallet and we do have it from our seed phrase here, and we go and look into the account of our wallet and take the public key and save it in a variable. So the next thing we want to set up is the connection to the network. And the way we do that is by taking this client factory. And as you can see, it comes from the solnet.rpc that we installed. And then we can go and say get client. And in this case, we say cluster.mainnet. So this will be our RPC client we're going to set up. So from here on, we can actually use the RPC client now to go and create a call to get the balance. So we say get balance async. And we are also going to await this call. And then we just want to go and say what was the public key, because then it will go and retrieve the balance from the public key. So this will be the balance result we get. So when we do make this call, we do want to go and say if we get the balance result, if it was successful, we will go and display it. So the way we're going to display it is just by make a console right line. Then we go and say wallet and we will just display the public key just so we can see which wallet is it. And on the next line here, we're going to say we have the sole balance. And then you can also see here, we go and take our balance result again. And inside that, we have a result with a value. And the reason we want to divide it with 1 billion here is because this one is actually not just going and display the actual soul here. It will go and get us a value which is called Lamports, as you can see here. I actually don't know how you pronounce it. And when you have like 1 billion Lamports, it is actually just equal to one soul. So it is just to go and display it a little bit nicer. And then we also, of course, have to say else here, because if we don't get the balance from our wallet, we will go and make a new right line 
and say that there was an error in fetching the wallet. So for now, let's just try and test this out. And you actually don't need these two anyways, because we say sold.wallet.wallet .wallet here. We specify it very directly here, so we can just go and get rid of these two. And let's go and save it. And the final thing we actually need to test it is our seed phrase. So I will just show you how you find it. So if you do have a Solana wallet like I have here, and you can see I have a little bit of Solana on it. So we should be able to go and see this amount in our C Sharp program. But the thing you want to go and do is to go and click up here at the username and then say settings and then security and privacy. And when you scroll a bit down, you can see here show recovery phrase. And we click on this one, you actually get the recover recovery phase okay so i actually ended up using another recovery phrase here but as you can see we do get the wallet and the soul balance is this amount of soul one last thing we actually needed in the code was this console read key just so it don't just open the console and close it again but just so we have a chance to actually see what it outputs so just so you can see an example of how it should look it was just like this when you write chicken football, cow, snow, and so on. And it will just be with a regular space and everything is with lower cap. So it will be in this way, you have to insert it. And it's typically 12 and 24 words that you have to copy in here. So this is not a my key. You don't have to try this out. It will not work. So the next thing I want to show you is how you can actually go and display all your tokens. So I will not scroll to the top because I have my seed phrase up there. So the code I have inserted here is just below and I will explain what it does, but it is just below all the code we already, this was all the code we already wrote. But down here, I started some new code where we take our RPC client and then we can go and say, get token accounts by owner async. And what it need is your public key here. And then it also need a token program ID and the token program ID is actually this one. You have to put this in. It is the way we're going to take the SPL tokens program and put it inside our project here. So it will just be the way you can go and actually fetch all the tokens that is inside the program, which is inside the Solana network. So this will be the token account result. And if it was not successful, then I just changed this to say cannot get the SPL program and we just return this. So we will not go any further. We might want to actually go and also set a soul dot read key here just so we can see if this is the result. But if we do get some results here, we will again go and just write out the wallet name and also the SPL tokens that we get. So the final thing we will do here is take our token accounts result because in here we have some results and we have some values and these values is actually an array that we can go and loop through. Or as you can see, if we take over the value here, it's actually a list that have a model called tokens account. And since it's a list, we can go and make a for each loop on it. So we're going to loop through and have this variable called ACC. And when you take the ACC for every loop we loop through, we can go inside the account, take the data and pass it. So it's just called past and we can go and save it in a variable called past. And it's actually in here. We have all the information we need for the every, for every single coin we loop through. So first of all, we do have the mint address. So we say past and then dot info dot mint and we will get the mint address. We do also get the amount of tokens we have. So just say info dot token amount and we're going to save it again. And then inside this token amount, we do have something called UI amount string just to display it a little bit nicer. And it will just be displayed in the amount string here that we can go and display down at the right lines here. So it will just go and spit out a lot of different tokens that this account have been buying. So when I now run this, you can actually see all the different tokens I have on this account. It might look like a lot, but it's like $30 or something. 
I do have like you can actually see here the set Bitcoin starts with set BT and this is the amount I have on this account that we connect to and then of course we do also have a lot of different tokens that we connect to and some of them is zero because I already sold them again but they will still be in here so if you want to get a little bit more detailed you could actually just go and sort out if it's zero then don't display it and just so you can see the actual wallet we connected to here there is like $31 right now and a lot of them is in a troll coin and then there's just a lot of other meme coins that they are put into we'd also have the solana coin and if i scroll down here you can see we also have the set bitcoin so i will really recommend you go in and just put a, a dollar or two inside the set bitcoin because the idea with the whole project here is also to go and burn a lot of these tokens and it's really bound to the set bit youtube channel that i run right here so the more subscribers i get the more tokens we burn and the more value you should get at your own set bit tokens and it is really a long-term project so it will be going on forever the set bitcoin and it will just follow the youtube channel which has already i actually think the channel is eight year but it's like four or five years i really began to make some content but yeah that's actually it for this video and how you connect to your solana wallet with only c sharp so i hope you learned something and let's just go and have a nice day Hit subscribe, let the fam unite Don't forget to like, spark the algorithm light One click closer, dreams in your sight Join the Zepid flow, let's take flight